With four minutes after seven, we're going to be talking the Health Accounting Staff Association. They've got the, uh, their annual general conference, which is beginning today. Uh, they're supposed to be celebrating, but they've got a few issues. We want to uh, break their issues down and see how best we can all help solve it. My guest, Justice Aholu, is president of the Health Accounting Staff Association of Ghana, and Gifty Jekti is the Women's Commissioner. Uh, of the association. So good morning and thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. mm. Tell us about what you're celebrating first of all. We are celebrating the seventh annual general conference of our association. Mm. What does it mean? Oh, this is, we, we use it as a platform to meet annually, to share ideas about our profession, about our sector the health sector mm. and about issues generally affecting ghana okay yeah. how big are you well it's about uh, we are over two thousand in number mm. or close to three thousand because it it covers all accounting staff and internal audit staff in the whole of ministry of health and its agencies mm. like the ghana health service the teaching hospitals the psychiatry hospitals, the training institutions, the child institutions, and uh, others. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gifty, how many women are in this? Because oh. this is a tough sector. <laughs> well, we can be talking about um, maybe one third. Yeah. Okay. Do you want more women in there? That would be fantastic because um, women are good uh, money keepers. And when it comes to accountability, women, we are the best. So, and when it comes to performance, we do well. It's not like we are rubbing shoulders with men, no. Mm. But um, we are very good when it comes to accountability. And with the health sector, it's uh, a, a sector that requires uh, focus, commitment, and we can have that in women. Mm. As far as we are concerned, we fit in. Yeah, but at least they have a women's uh, commission. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, we are doing our bit, but uh, there's a lot that needs to be done. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the fact is that the Health Accounting Staff Association of Ghana, we don't hear of you much. You're not in the news usually, <laughs> uh, but you have issues. Definitely so. We have issues. Yeah. Um, we are also part of the health sector, we are an association, we have an association within the health sector which is ASAC and um, this is the association that represents members and articulates the views of members. But we do that under the umbrella of the Health Service Workers Union because okay. we are not a union. Mm. Uh, so we are affiliated with the Health Service Workers Union. So they speak for us on labor and public issues. So you only hear of us mainly annually when we are having our conference. Okay. But we don't have any much noise to make. Mm. <laughs> but what are your issues? Uh, I'm curious because you know the nurses. Yeah, yeah. The nurses have got issues. The doctors have got issues. Seriously. Uh, we, we, we have equally serious issues. Uh, since 2011 that the single spine was implemented we had so many grievances that we put across to the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission and it ended up, some ended at the Labor Commission. We, we went through a series of job evaluation, but that never resulted in any positive or favorable review in our salaries. In fact, during the, the, the placement on the single spine salary structure, we were heavily discriminated against with other supporting staff because the, there was an introduction of a clause, a, the, there was segregation of critical and non-critical staff. Mm. So all supporting staff, including accounting staff, were classified as non-critical and uh, uh, not, not bearing any much risk as far as healthcare delivery is concerned. So we scored quite low and that affected our placement mm. and our grading the, and we have done we have done a lot of engagement with all the authorities that matter but that has not been resolved and most of our members 
are very very dissatisfied yeah. and uh, disheartened about mm -hmm. that, that uh, so, outcome. So Gifty, how is that affecting you know you workers? How is that reflecting? Uh, the health uh, sector is a teamwork. Our work there is a teamwork. You can't have a doctor do it all. You can't have uh, an orderly have it all. If an orderly refuses to work, the, the system cannot just go on. If a doctor refuses to work, the same way, if an accountant does not bring in resources, and that part is the engine of the sector. You see, when it comes to donors, we contribute to getting the resources because they have standards we have to meet. And with the professionalism that we are, we are, we are championing, you can, you, can, you can just make your references. You realize the health sector is doing extremely well. That's why they were getting all the support. Now they get the support, we, there should be uh, some kind of fairness in the system. Policies should be fair. It should bring fairness. But unfortunately, when it comes to the single spine, you, have to, you are using a scale that is not uh, accounting professionally related. They should have used what they use for control accountant general for us. Then we are, you, are, you are measuring us according to our profession, uh, professional mm. But you're going to use health sector lines. Excuse me, I'm not a nurse. So if you talk about risk, it should be health-related risk. And then also accounting-related risk. Unfortunately, we are having a double. If you compare us to the controller, we are having dual risk. Yeah, because, you, because, because you're we are to the health exactly. and you're doing your professional exactly. work as well. And meanwhile, the stakeholders blindly refuse to look at some of these things. And those things are quite demoralizing. As a matter of fact, we were extremely doing well. For now, we can say that it's because we are committed to the work. That's why we are doing it. Not because we have satisfaction. So we want to plead with all coders mm. to be up and coming. It's not over. Look at a scenario where the doctors are asking for more. Nurses are asking for more. Even the little one that the accountants to have or the support, whatever they call, they have them support because we are not like that. So they say, but we are part of the system. Mm. Even the original one, we don't have it. Others are asking for more. Like the Oliver Twist, he's asking for more. So for how long have you been trying to make things work properly for you? Yeah, like How I long said, have you been on this particular issue? That, that is, it's almost four years now. It started November 2011 with the, with the uh, inception of the single spine salary structure. And that is, and then since then, as I said, there has not been any favorable. So why haven't you really come out strongly on this? Yeah, as I said, we are operating under a, a mother union, and they have their strategies and they have their approaches. Mm. So on our own, we don't have the locus to engage Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. By law, we have to do that through, through the, the Health Service Workers Union. Yeah. So but, uh, the is union, the union being helpful? Oh, very helpful. Because but if after four to, years to you're still extent. where you oh, were, it's, it's, it's helpful. <laughs> but like I said, they, they have their strategies and it has its approaches, and uh, we we are always engaged. We make inputs, hmm. but the the union has to articulate on behalf of all members. But I, I would say that so far the union hasn't hasn't done badly. Hmm. Uh, what, what's the disparity a, like? What's the difference like? Different between what the, where you are supposed to be and where you are in great. terms of figures. It's quite quite great. We know that um, we have a system in Ghana that even you are not supposed to meet west of anyway. We, the accounting group, were brought from Control Accounting General. Now we are far 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 west of mm. comparatively. Maybe. That's the external relativities. Okay. We are far 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 west of than your colleagues back that where you can came. I, can I, can I? Sure. Yeah. Um, let's take, for instance, a professional accountant in, in, in health service. It's not paid as a professional accountant. But a professional accountant in the uh, control yeah, accountant general service, yeah. which is attached to any MDA, is paid as a professional accountant. But that's straight the away wrong. The, the conditions, exactly. there are many benefits and amenities attached. Salary-wise, for instance, a professional accountant earns, for instance, 2000 or less. But the professional accountant in 
any of these NDAs, which is a controller staff, earns salary-wise not less than 3,000 CDs and has other allowances attached. So at the end of the day, the take-home, it's so, over 5,000. So we're but the take-home for the health accountant, there's nothing added to their salary. It's only salary that you take home. So the disparity would be not less than 2,000 or 3,000. So we're talking for the about same, same profession. Qual same, same qualification. Profession, same Let qualification. Let me give you an example or so. A nurse that leaves a nurse after SS going to read a diploma or degree and comes to the service ends, ends the disparity mm -hmm. between that nurse and a full-fledged professional accountant who has stayed in the service for close to 18, 20 years. The difference in earnings is just about 500 or 600 cities. Can you imagine? Somebody working for 18... So what, is the nurse better off? The nurse is better off. Because by the time the nurse works 18, 20 years, it's far better off. That is the comparison I'm making. Accountant who works for 18, 20 years, and a nurse who just comes out of school. The, the entry grade, and you can compare the entry grade for the accountant and many other uh, health mm. related profession. We are not competing, we are not complaining. Yeah. But fairness Once is what we're talking about. Once you're a professional accountant, let me give a background. Before, be before the advent of the single spine, we were on the health sector salary, and the, the placement was based on qualification. So when you hold a degree, you That's earn for course. that. But the single spine w was expected to make these things better. But at the end of the day, we ended up worse off the, 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 the result because yeah. the single spine is based on job evaluation. And the factors that are used to evaluate the jobs favor the health care staff, direct health care providers, mm. than the support staff. But we are all working as a team. That's the argument we are making. That is why in the past they considered qualification hmm. but now qualification has no 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 there's no premium on qualification yeah. yeah so what have your employers been telling you on this the difference the employers are very little because now everything is in the in the in the, in the quarters of the fair wages and service commission legally they are mandated to handle all labor related matters the employers will do that through them Okay, so or maybe I them. should I should find out what the union has been telling you they have been saying. Yeah, so the 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 you the, the the union engaged fair wages and fair wages said by law they have to reevaluate to assess I mean our grievances. And when they went through the revaluation mm -hmm. the exercise, the, the it was not favorable. So that that did not result in any upward review in our salary. So what does it mean? Yeah, it that they can't do anything about there it. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so but it's, it's ended unless there is another review of the single spine policy. And the, the understanding is that the after entire every policy, yeah, itself. policy after every five years, it is reviewed. So that's the only opportunity we have to make any case. But for now, it is until over. then, until then, we remain with the, the situation wow. that way. But okay. there are other areas that we have concerns apart from the salary. We must bring it sure. up to Gifty, the Sure, is what you're me. saying related to what he was saying? Yeah, I was okay. going to add to what he just said. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, with the fair wages, yes, they are rolling the policies of uh, Ghana, which you appreciate. But as you rightly said, what is the employer saying about it? You, you are you're a father or your mother, you have several children. Are you not going to seek the welfare of all the children? So you see, we don't want to be on the street. That's why we have not been on the street. We are professionals. We have ethics. We value our, ourselves. But you see, there should be some kind of interventions. And the employer is the sole person who can do that. If I have employed my, my staff, and due to certain factors, I want to place a person here, you go negotiating with fair wages. Because the fair wages who have come out clearly that apart from the normal one that my cousin have just mentioned, the employer has a stake in this because it's their budget. So it's not like it's zero. But uh, our employers have to be up and coming. 
and see in line with what we are asking for. Nobody is going to say, pay something you cannot absorb. It, but in that, in that regard, then the Ministry of Health could help you. Sure. We, have, we, have, we have engaged the Ministry of Health on several occasions. In the minister, the whatever, all the stakeholders. You see, and you know, um, we, we are not a political group. We are more or less administrators, M management members. We seek the welfare of our system. So what, what has the ministry been telling you? Ministry has little to say because uh, fair wages is not necessarily going to listen to ministry as Ministry of Health. No. It should be the employer who is going to talk on the behalf of the employee. So there's a thin line. You see, because there have been efforts, uh, the former minister, Honorable Babin, has made the asset, but they couldn't go far because the fair wages have a way of looking at us, resolving certain issues, like my president has said. But in addition to that, like we have already uh, um, mentioned, that uh, brought to light that the, the, the scale or the, the, the whatever they have used, the standards they used, mm -hmm. it should be accounting related because the job we are doing plus the health related. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm lost a bit because if the ministry can't help you, I mean, pay your structure, mm -hmm. your employer, Ghana Health Service, Ministry of Health, I mean, and that's governments. Ministry of our, Health covers... Our, our employer is, is, is Ministry of Health mm -hmm. and its agencies. For instance, we in Ghana Health Service, our employer is government through the Council of the Ghana Health Service, the teaching hospitals, through the boards, of the teaching hospital, all hmm. under the ministry come together to form government, which is our employer. Okay. Fine, but th this is how it works. Whatever grievances we have, that, that we, we address it to the employer. It's a tripartite relationship. We as employees through the union, then government through the ministry and the various agencies as employers, then the, the, uh, and also uh, uh, fair wages mm. and so what happens is whatever employees and then the employer says must be measured with the standards of fair wages so employer is unable to dictate but to does fair wages the employer what to do. does the employer but appreciate your concerns uh, do they is, get that, it that is, exactly that is, that is yeah they i'm sure it. they get Let it but they are constrained because uh, they need to convince fair wages. The employer need to convince fair wages. Fair wages need to convince Ministry of Finance about the implications. So these are the barriers or the obstacles that we have. Pay your so, understanding yeah. uh, with how things have gone so far. Do you think that fair wages is convinced? Are they convinced? Yeah, for them, they said the rule is they have all the basic whatever they can do is based on the job evaluation as far as salaries is salaries which are they evaluated and yes. they came to the same so conclusion. as far as they are concerned uh they, 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 they we have not been able to convince them by the standard mm -hmm. that so you've they, hit a wall then uh, you've hit a wall that is why we said the the criteria is is is, is not fair it, it shouldn't be used it shouldn't be a blanket criteria because it favors the health care providers more in the sector mm -hmm. than the support staff. In, the, in terms of the support, support staff, what fair wages always say is that they have to look at relativities in the public sector. And that is why we are saying that for accountants, our, our, our relativity is with controller and accountant general. So whatever conditions that our colleagues mm. who were formerly with control and content general and were ceded to the health sector. Whatever the colleagues there are enjoying in terms of salaries and benefits, we, we should be accorded the same mm. uh, conditions. But okay. that is not, the, uh, but that cannot be applied. Sure, we'll get into the other issues yes. and then I'll come back to uh, your professional body, yes. what they're saying about this, yeah. because they can also, uh, intervene in this yeah, matter sure. I'm thinking mm -hmm. but what are the other issues that well, you're so worried about yeah the other issue apart from the salary is that is a, is, a, is a conditions of service like we knew recently with the doctors mm. all of us didn't have 
in a condition of service for all this while. Mm. And it is now that we are... So why didn't you come out when the doctors came out? Well, we collectively, we worked on the framework. Then suddenly after the framework, government decided to engage as individual or intense. Or actually there was a doctors who opted for exclusive engagement. So, so government started engaging them. So the rest of us the health service workers union and its affiliate associations, the nurses and then the pharmacists. The nurses also have affiliate associations. So we were waiting for doctors and the government to finish their battle. Then we can all jump. We were watching. Okay. So what's yeah. your understanding? Are they done? Oh, so now I think there's come. Uh, we are all undergoing negotiations. We have gone for one round of the negotiation. Okay. Was it before so, the doctors or after the doctors? Uh, well, I'm not too sure, but it's in turn. They engage us in groupings. Okay. So I'm sure either the doctors can on the same are conditions. on the same condition. We are yeah. now, we are finished with the framework. Mm -hmm. So we are now working on the collective agreement. Well, what does it mean? What's the collective well, agreement? It's just the outcome of the, okay. of, of, the, of the framework for us to have collective agreement with government. It should be guided by a framework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so government should give us or sign a framework to, to be able to guide the process. You know, so when the, when the doctor's done. issue came out, some people were like, so what, what kind of conditions do you work with? I want to ask you the same. What kind of conditions? Yeah, if talking about conditions of service or collective agreement, it should be a blueprint. Yeah? It should be something that is signed between, between the parties, the social parties, government, fair wages, and then uh, employees or unions, mm -hmm. so that that would be a roadmap as far as handling all matters relating to employment is concerned. But we only had in the past policies scattered. We didn't have a codified document. So that's what you're asking that for? That is what we're asking for. But it makes it easier to, to, to engage your employer or whoever. But with this scattered distance, there will be hide and seek and dodging mm. uh, games. So that is what has not been helpful. Mm. That is why we are all insisting that okay. we should codify these things. It should be a document we all sign to transparently and then it should be negotiated. Okay. Then at the end of the day, it guides the relationship mm. because employment is about relationship. Sure. Yes. You, want, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I wanted to say something. Um, just to add to what my president had just said. Um, in our negotiations, there should be fairness. It shouldn't be a repetition of history. The same pattern the single spine took, I'm afraid that's what is coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm saying so because why would they have a collective framework yeah, they, they are all working on? We are all, all the stakeholders in the health sector. Now government decided to listen to doctors aside all stakeholders. Uh, this was a big fear, I must say, when the doctors declared their action. But I guess everybody agreed that that's a very uh, sensitive area. We couldn't do without the doctors. I'm not saying uh, we can do with we can we can see, do without madam, you. Madam, we so must. They we were must, engaged. We no, must, we must call a speed a speed. Exactly. There's a rule to follow in terms of conditions of service. That one or the framework. Government does that with what? A sector. So all of us came together and do it collectively. That may not the, 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 going forward, the agreement, uh, government can compel a union or association into an agreement. So if an association opt that given certain circumstances, we want to have an exclusive agreement with government, it's, they are all entitled to that. There's nothing wrong mm -hmm. about that. Uh -huh. But it would have been better if we continued the way we, we, we dealt with the framework. But, well, but since you were choice. quiet, we all assumed that you were okay with it. No, 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 we were not we quiet. Are, we are, we are we were not on. quiet. We because not. we didn't hear from you. Yeah, but the nurses, I mean, you didn't, you didn't, on the condition of service, you didn't hear from the nurses. 
No, we didn't. We didn't, didn't, we didn't yeah. hear. We didn't hear from the yeah. unions. That, we, yes. didn't, we didn't. We didn't hear from the, the bigger. Doctors. It was only the doctors. Yes. yes. Actually, we have to be thankful to the doctors for what they did because the whole issue of condition of service, the alarm was sounded by doctors and spearheaded by them. Before it was the ministry and others realized that the, the staff had a case hmm. and we need to sit down with them and enter the framework and, and do uh, develop the framework. In fact, if the doctors hadn't threatened since last year about their condition of service, all of us and others wouldn't have been awakened to this hmm. reality. But so actually the alarm they sounded helped uh, uh, all of us. But they are almost somewhere. Where are you? Well, we, that, like I said, all the unions are now at the table. When was your last meeting? Our last meeting was uh, la uh, early last month. Okay. We are waiting for the next one. On round. the same On subject? The, yeah, we, we okay. have dealt with With all the necessary stakeholders? Yeah, all the necessary st stakeholders. Excluding the doctors? Yeah, yeah. Ex yeah excluding because they are special. Mm -hmm. They are a different case. No, what is that? no, no, no. What is <laughs> happening is that the government and fair wages for that matter is, in, is engaging all the four groups or unions mm. and has appointed uh, a mediator to negotiate all the unions so that is what we are undergoing now mm. and we have gone for the first round so we we, we are waiting for our turn for the mm. next round there, there's an issue mm. that doctors raised about yeah. not getting getting health care personal health care uh, i don't know what it is for you when you're not well what happens? Oh, Do you have to pay for your own yeah, medical bills? Same. So those are all issues we are negotiating in agreement. But yeah. somebody made an argument that there's the NHIS. Are you not registered on it? Yeah, uh, we are. As social security contributors, we ought to. So you, 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 it's not automatic. You must go through the process hmm. to register without paying. Personally? Yeah, yeah, personally. Okay. Yeah. Once you are a social security contributor, whether you work in the hospital or not, you, you so you would register it. just as any other any person other, would? Um, yeah, we will, so that you also enjoy the packages, the benefit package under the insurance scheme. Okay. But beyond that, you don't the have argument a, of the doctors are mm. beyond the insurance coverage, where you have a health challenge, what protection have you? That's a concern. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And it's the same, it applies to all of us too. So those gaps are being covered in the collective agreement. Mm. Yeah. So these are some of the issues that you want us yeah, to be yeah. aware of. Yeah, sure. One, uh, one of them also is, is, is the scheme of service for the accounting staff, and I'm sure other staff. So again, we don't have any official blueprint, a codified document, a scheme of service. We only have policy documents. And What's that a is also scheme of service? What's the difference? Well, a scheme is what defines how you enter the service and run through and or progress. graduate, progress, okay, progressing in the service. Mm. That's a scheme, a hierarchy that you go through. Mm. Yes. There's nothing and like that. And that is very fundamental to the condition of service. But we don't have that also. And that's, that's okay. a serious... So, so, so how, how do you progress then? Okay. So <laughs> if, you, excuse me, if you don't have it, what was the premise for that uh, evaluation? <laughs> the document was not in existent. What did they use for that? You see, there are flaws. And we have, like my brothers, we have to call a spade a spade. There are flaws. It's just because we hold to integrity. That's one of uh, our key whatever. Integrity. That's our hallmark. Aside all the demoralizing issues, we just look on to our integrity as we have decided to champion a course of Ghana Health Service to the latter with all dignity so we are committed to that but if you look at it it's not fair mm. what's but, your but, but, bigger group I mean you have a very powerful uh, association mm. backing you as professionals yeah yeah that is that the is the, the Institute of Chartered Accountants yes. Ghana um, if, if yeah they can they can add their voice to whatever that is going on as to the conditions that government should provide for the professional accountant but yeah, in so far as you are a member of the profession but they are also concerned about public financial management they are now becoming a voice in public financial mm -hmm. management yeah. in, in ghana and globally and as a result of that, they are making a lot of inputs 
as to what government does. For instance, they are, record, they, they, are, they are collaborating with government to adopt what we call the international public sector accounting standards. In the past, the accounting practice or financial management practice wasn't all that standardized or regulated. Mm. But the, 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 the growing trend now is that it should be regulated by global standards. And one of it is the IFSAS, the International Public Sector Accounting Standard, which ICAG is championing for government of Ghana to adopt. Mm. And that requires that all, and ICG, ICA is recommending to government of Ghana that are in line with donor uh, requirements or development partners requirements. Every NDA level from district, municipal, Every MDA, either in education or health, at every MDA level, should be manned by a professional accountant. Mm -hmm. What it means is producing more professional accountants. Yeah, but if you uh -huh. have so as, as, as accountants, they are doing that, where you are now, as, as they are and doing there are that, no they, are also, they, they, they will also recommend to government what conditions should be provided okay. for professional accountants. And they are doing that through the Comptroller Accountant General's Department. Mm. And that is what should extend to other MDAs so that whether you are, once you are a professional accountant, irrespective of where you find yourself, you enjoy similar mm -hmm. conditions yeah. of service. Yeah. And that is what ICA is advocating for, mm. for government of Ghana. But it's a journey. Yeah. And it's just beginning. And we hope that... And it's a very bureaucratic, yes, bureaucratic, bureaucratic journey. One, uh -huh. yes. one other it? HR issue or concern that mm -hmm. we have we have a number of gaps with our HR system in the health sector, and that need to be addressed. Uh, Human Resource came out with a policy on steady leave, and that has been very, very, very disadvantageous to most of our members, mm -hmm. because these days you you take advantage of part-time, sandwich, distance, and other to do courses. Mm -hmm. So they realized that fine, it was affecting work. And it was affecting budget also because, so they need to plan. So they came up with a policy that you ought to obtain uh, prior approval or authority to embark on any form of upgrading. Mm. Uh, but the challenge we have is that people who were already in this, this policy has adversely affected them as well. So mm. we are engaging the HR and we are appealing also to our Various but, but what's directives. the handle? Because they say, let us know about it. Yeah, but if, you, if I'm already on it, before the policy came, there should be uh, 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 um, uh, 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 an exemption or a concession to those that were already on it or some timeline mm. to implement or for the policy to be effective. But, but, but it looks like it has, it has just taken off and adversely affected. But how is it working now? Does it mean you not allow me no, to those, do it? Those or? people who are going now before mm -hmm. the policy, if you violate it or flout it, you have yourself to blame. But our challenge is with those, some people were denied upgrading mm -hmm. because of this policy because they were already on the program for the inception of the policy. But so we, what, we does the that policy been... what does the policy say? Yeah, the policy That's... requires that your program, mm -hmm. there should be approval for your program. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So but your concern is there are people approval, who started it yes, before. Yeah, so can be given some consideration. Mm. So we are, we are making the appeal and we hope that... So how are they managing we, it? It means now, I mean, you, how are they managing it now that they don't have the approval yeah. and they've already started? It means yeah, they so have it means most people have finished yeah, degrees, masters, and there's no upgrade. That is because it. then they don't recognize yeah, they your don't recognize. upgrade because yes. you didn't prompt them. Yes, you didn't prompt them. Oh, oh, your you didn't seek approval. approval. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, but yeah, Gifty yeah. wanted so badly to say something. <laughs> Talking about recognizing what they have done prompts me on the fact that my president talked about professional accountants, what I see is looking at and all that. In reality, Ghana Health Service try and give an impression they need just bookkeepers and revenue collectors and not professionals. In reality, that's what... How that's is that picture. impression created? Yeah, it's being created because 
when you are going to negotiate or when you are going to bring up some of these professional issues as the placement and all that, what is pulling us down is they don't value your professional. The professionals. They don't value it. You are they treated ordinary. All they need is someone, mm. they are going to do their surgery, they are going to do their whatever, the medics, everything. Then uh, we have, the, we need somebody to come and just collect money. We, do, we are not revenue collectors. We are talking about chartered accountants, we are talking about financial analysts, we are talking about all kinds of management accountants among us. You see, and you don't uh, try to uh, floor everything. And because you have your own service ambition to carry out. We are all together in the sector. And it's so funny. When you go to fair wages, even at the entrance, you, they're talking about, they, they, uh, they, they are talking about Absolutely. teamwork. Mm. The values of Ghana, uh, the, the fair wages. They're talking about teamwork. I remember asking. service to teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah. How Ghana has a teamwork? But when it comes to money, it's not teamwork. Mm. Huh? Ghana should judge. It should be teamwork and team motivation. You understand me? It's so bad. If you listen to our people, it's like we are wasting our time for nothing. Do you want to sit down and get quality people running out of the sector? So you go and bring, uh, there's a session that when you walk out there on the street, you can, can easily change. get somebody to come in. Yeah. What the person has been groomed to do, it cannot be anybody walking on the streets. We keep over 32 books. Which of the MDAs are keeping that number of books? And which, uh, which uh, account on the streets can just, out of nothing, handle that? So it's hard time. We, we appreciate our people. I can sense uh, that, uh, you know, it, it is frustrating working yeah, in an yeah, environment. Very frustrating. Yes, when, Madam, you know. Very frustrating. If, if we are successful as a country in healthcare delivery, we can't claim that success without giving a credit to sound financial management. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In fact, we can check public accounts committee records as which MDAs prepare financial statement. Maybe technically you may not understand, but most, most, peop, most audit reports are only about transactionary audit. But in Ministry of Health, we are one of the only MDAs that prepares financial statement, which is audited by the Auditor General and further, a further requirement by donor partners to be audited by by, by, by an international audit, firm. audit firms. That is the only ministry that does that mostly. Mm. So, Ministry of Health has one and of the do you best. And do, do you do Ministry this effectively? Has, definitely, do you do this effectively? It, it has one of the best financial management systems, financial reporting system, and this is confirmed by the Public Accounts Committee. Yet they don't see Yes, to they don't see all this. To, to, to give us any credit or any value for that. Amazing. And it's, it's, yeah, it's very frustrating, I, 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 very disheartening. So, you know, what should we expect as you have your annual conference? Oh, we are going to, we are going to articulate all these issues again. We'll send communications to all the places. We'll engage whatever, all the stakeholders. And are your members happy? They are not happy at all. And they always blame the leadership. Leadership. Uh -huh. But they, 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 we are now trying to sensitize them to understand that it's about industrial, the how industrial relations practice works with the law. Now in Ghana, in the past, we, we didn't have any law, but now we have a labor law. So you realize that with all that, even the doctors have done with respect to the condition of service, at the end of the day, were they given? All that the pharmacies have done with their single spine, at the end of the day, were they given? Fair wages had been steadfast to enforce their law. Mm. But let us advise that just focusing on law and law and law and ignore some of these issues and sentiments would one day run or ground the system. So I think that we need to look at conditions mm. under which uh, people work. Mm. Let me, be a, bit, let me be a bit hard. Equally. Let me be a bit hard, yeah. you know, because I'm sure somebody's probably thinking, you work in the public sector, you're obviously not happy. Yeah. Uh, your colleagues 
who are equally qualified as you, uh, you know, and join somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. So why don't what you I just leave? Yeah. Yes. No, what are you still hanging on? What are you, what are you still hanging on no, doing? But you know that the private sector, the private sector in Ghana, is is not uh, that vibrant. The, the public is rather the larger employer, which is the opposite. Ideally, in, in, in ideal economic situations, we should have the private sector booming and attracting mm. the best uh, hands or the best skills, and then well paid. A few private sector, they, they, they are better paid. Mm -hmm. But most of our private sector institutions, you don't, it's the situation is worse in terms of human resource uh, mm. management and because most of them are SMEs and uh, that don't appreciate this. Mm. Most entrepreneurs or SMEs in the private sector don't appreciate Because usually they are yeah. one-man business Yes, and yes. those people yes. yeah. would hardly go through the proper yeah. processes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but um, are you still hanging in there doing? Yes. Um, you know, when mm, you're saying that we can't leave, we <laughs> can leave. Own. We can leave. But let's look at this. If with our numbers, we decide to leave and it, no one cares about it, it means then there's poor management. If man may sit down and all you can think about is, I'm not treating you well. If you're tired, take your bath yeah, and leave. You know, more like if the kitchen is too hot, just. Then it means but, but that, we are, we are then it means that the management, they don't understand what they, they stand for. But, because but, you need quality services. Mm. You have groomed people, they have issues. Just they address their issues and have them. But you don't play the other way around, as in, oh, uh, since you, have, you are marketable somewhere, find out your way out there. Every good manager wants the best, you see. And no one is saying that um, um, our being there or not being there is an issue here. Someone has dedicated himself to do that kind of job. Mm. Motivate the person. Because whoever is coming in, in any case, would demand the same thing. Irrespective of your issues, though, are you still committed? Very committed. Certainly so. Uh, as, very, as very committed. And that's what's you have to, you have to You have to exhibit your commitment, no matter the circumstances. Uh, 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 that is it. We don't have a choice. But one thing, too, is that we are Ghanaians. And we are working for Mother Ghana. Most of the issues we are talking about can be attributed to what? System failure. It's systemic mm. and can be addressed. So why don't we exactly. address it? We don't need to either we don't need to because the public sector will forever be there until Jesus Christ comes. So But in, well, the, in well, the meantime, so we have to continue I'm improve sure your the pension systems. would also be suffering from it is suffering. It's suffering one of the issues that the I, I didn't point. talk about with the second tier pension scheme. As we speak, the unions are associated. We are in court with government over the 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 the, the, the management the managers, of the pensions. Yes. The law clear is clear as to who should manage the pension funds. So we went through the process, and MPRA, which is a regulator, did not find anything wrong with the process. And but after employer... establishing after establishing the scheme, mm. and only at the stage of appointing the fund manager, then all of a sudden from nowhere, government appeared and <laughs> imposed an, 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 a, a, well, the fund manager mm -hmm. that because I'm the employer and I'm protecting the, 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 the interests of workers. It happens in other countries that pension system collapse. So I should only employ, employ uh, or appoint the fund manager, which is clearly contrary to the law. And this is, we were on, uh, you knew we went on, mm -hmm. uh, our unions went on some strike over yes. that. And after that, the matter went to court. declared illegal, yeah, so you had to. We went to court, it was declared, declared illegal. And now an attempt is being made by government to amend the law to suit to suit uh, them so that they can employ, appoint the sole fund manager. So that is where we are now, as far as the pension issues are Amazing. concerned. So, so you know, even laws, when you make noise, make when you take all the actions, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So in Ghana, it is, we, we, it, government is the most powerful, not the institutions. The institutions should work because MPRA, as a regulator, should, should really be allowed independently to do its work. Yes. But government has taken over that function from the MPRA and performing.
So wh so MPRA where is, are those is, monies? Is, is, where are your monies? Ah, that they is the question. They are hanging. They are hanging. Uh, I, and and the, uh, yeah. they are government hanging. says they are they are they have been invested, and then they are yielding some funds. But it would have been invested better if you give it to the commercial fund managers. Mm. But it would diversify. But, but for so now, what happens? Only... What happens to members who retire? Yeah, so it will, it will certainly adversely affect their pensions. No, w what I mean is some of your members, because we, we, we're wondering if you go on retirement, it. how are you going to get that money? That because that's, uh, that's, it, that's, it, that's it, the, it, it, isn't is that the bulk money that comes yes. to you when, you when you go on retirement? Yeah, you know, uh, there you was a any? cut off under the new act, the M MPRA Act or the New Pensions Act, uh, there was a cut off. So pensions have been categorized into three levels. You understand? Into three levels. So it is uh, uh, tier one, which is the first level, tier two, mm -hmm. which is compulsory and privately managed. That is what is supposed to yield some lump sum to the mm -hmm. uh, employee. And mm -hmm. that is what is a challenge. So most of us who are young, it is our future that is being toyed with. But those that are almost to pension, they will be on the old. So system. do you have any Hazak member who has retired? Oh, definitely. Oh, what happened to them? Yeah, if they are in the old system, mm -hmm. then they benefit on the old pension, a SNIT system. Which but, is not so helpful. But if they are with a new system, those mm -hmm. but no new system, not too sure anybody has retired, on, retired it. on it. Retired on Okay, yet. because so, I'm wondering how yes, that will go. Yes, the new system is yet to, to, to mature. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll be following up, on, you know, on yeah. your conference, mm -hmm. uh, which is beginning today, actually, yes, in Ho. Today we are reporting today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. it will go throughout the weekend. We'll go through uh, the weekend to Saturday. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll be trying to uh, do a few follow-ups on some of your issues. Yes, yes. Uh, and then hopefully, I mean, there are so many issues in the health sector. Yeah. Amazing. Why is everything coming out at this time? So system failure, that is what, um, uh, I, that's what we attribute it to. So let those in authority. The structures should work. The structures should work. Mm. Systems should work. One not key thing, perhaps I didn't ask, uh, the Employment and Labor Relations Ministry, are they aware yeah. of your challenges? Why, why not? They are exhausted the whole process. Mm. They, they are, are, duly they are exhausted very much them. aware. Because fair wages operate under them. So they are very much aware. And at all the meetings, they had representation. Mm. Yes. Attorney General wow. is represented. Finance is represented. Ministry of Health is represented. At all platforms that we meet on this labor mm. issues you know you mentioned systems yeah but that's a system right there fair wages and salaries commission mm. it is one thing putting the system there but the there's another thing allowing the system to, to work. independently work that's what problem we have mm. so we have weak systems and we all need to aggressively all all of us as a country we need to to to, to wherever we are we need to aggressively and be committed to what system improvement yeah if it works then it works for posterity but if we always allow personal uh, interference with the system or personal influence on the system for instance because of a powerful class of workers we are unable to stand our grounds and 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 and, and state the issues and we bulge to the system bows to pressure mm. and allows everything because once it does, it's going to be a ripple effect. Yeah. All other people. Yeah. True. But if the government, if they are granted whatever <laughs> that other groups were asking for, mm. the others also, not only in the health sector, but outside the health sector. Yeah, have we knew this was coming. So anyway, we, we, I'm not surprised. We, we expect here. the system. But I wish you well in your celebrations. Uh, hopefully, yeah, there's something to smile about yes, at yes, least. Yes, yes, yes. We are very grateful for the opportunity, and uh, yeah. we hope from time to time we'll have this interaction so that. You if you're ready air. to talk, because that's one thing with the public we sector. We are very ready to talk. Sometimes you don't talk about your issues. So no, even here, though you're suffering. Yeah, we had opportunity. Here we have. Uh, we have yeah, this is a air. rare opportunity. Yes, seriously. <laughs> it's a, it's a but I'm one. grateful for your the time. The one. And uh, you, ha you have also used it to, uh, to, to get more insight about yeah, definitely. something about accountants in the health sector. Yeah. You yeah. didn't even know that we exist as accountants in the health sector. Well, 
I, I know that, that, that I have a couple of friends. I have maybe two of them at the yeah. control and accountant yes, general. Yes, yes, yes. But I know it's one of the issues. Yes. We want more professional accountants yeah, more into professional the system accountants. because that will make a difference. So what but if we have them and this is how we're treating them, treating then them. that's a problem. Yeah. In fact, if controller opens is going to be, most of us who were from controller and many people who are becoming professional accountants who would have gone back you and block and leave the health you want to go back to controller for the HND and the <laughs> SS people to manage the health accounting <laughs> system. Yeah. Maybe that is what they appreciate. No, but that won't be good. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure. Justice uh, Aholo is president of the Health Accounting Staff Association of Ghana and exactly. Gifty Jekti. That's a special name. Women Commissioner of the association. I thank you for your time. All the best. Uh, when you go to Hull. Stay with us. We've Thank still got a so lot much. more coming your way. We've got talk and then Ketsi Etel. We have entertainment. Please stay with us.